In today's video, you are going to learn how to get help while you are using R. Let's start by making a new topic in our R script and call it getting help with R. First, make a new variable and set it equal to 200. I will run this code with command return and you can see x now equals 200. In a previous video you learned how to delete variables with the rm parentheses and then you type the name of the variable. This is how you delete a variable. For today's video imagine that you have forgotten how to use remove to delete a variable. You need help and R has built-in ways to help you. One way you can get help is by typing help, open parentheses, and in the parentheses you type the name of the thing you need help with. For now, in order to learn more about help, let's type help. Now press command return to execute that code And you can see that in the bottom right pane, you now have our documentation for help to read. Our documentation is a very important skill in order to be able to read it and understand it. At first, our documentation might seem a little bit confusing. Scroll down and get a feel for what the documentation looks like. R provides documentation for all of its built-in functions that you will learn while you're learning R. And you'll learn more about what a function is in later videos. But for now, just understand that when you need help, you can type help and put the name of what you need help with in parentheses and then read more about it in the documentation you should get into the habit of reading the documentation when you pull it up trying to understand a little bit at a time and over, with practice it'll get easier and you'll get better at it. Here with help you can see that one of the arguments to help is a topic. An argument is very simply something you type in parentheses after you type some code that's built into R, like help. Here you can see that topic means usually a name or a character string specifying the topic for which help is sought. In this case we really want help with remove. So let's type that there and then I run that code and you can see that with remove you can remove objects from a specified environment. Here's the R documentation for remove. If you forgot how to use it you can refer here and see that here. Look we can type RM and here are the arguments that we can give RM the things that we can remove. The dot 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 means the objects to be removed as names or character strings or a list, a character vector naming objects to be removed. Here we're interested in this first option, the dot dot dot, the objects to be removed. Here object is just another word for a variable that you've made. After looking at the documentation, I see that I can use RM, and if I scroll down, I can see some examples. Here, in the example, uh, temporary TMP gets assigned to this, one, one to four, and then RM is used to delete temporary, RM open parentheses temporary. So I see that I can just type RM, 
open parentheses and the thing that I want to delete goes into the parentheses and then if I run this code you can see that the variable has been removed another option for you instead of typing help is just to type a question mark and then the thing you need help with so we'll type remove again question mark remove and I run that code and you can see that the documentation for remove gets pulled up. 